Trish, and in this video, I will be sharing my TBR for this year's Film Myth Readathon. So, the Film Myth Readathon was created and is hosted by Gerald of Gerald the Bookworm. It is a two week readathon that runs from March 28 to April 10, and it is inspired by Filipino myth and folklore. And so, the prompts in this readathon are represented by various Filipino mythical creatures. So before I dive into the books in my TBR, I'm going to quickly go through the prompts in this readathon that were on the same page and you can understand why I chose these books. So the first prompt is Maria Makiling. She is known as a diwata with a beautiful face and a beautiful heart. And this prompt demands, demands, <laughs> this prompt demands that you read a book with a beautiful cover. The second prompt is Serena. It is said that they are luring fishermen using their beautiful singing voices. For this prompt, you should read a book written in verse. The third prompt is Malakas at Maganda. According to the Film Myth Instagram page, Malakas at Maganda is a Filipino, Filipino, a Filipino version of Adam and Eve, but vegan since they came from bamboo. So for this prompt, you should read a book that is either written by a Filipino author or is written in your native tongue or in Tagalog. The fourth prompt is San Telmo. According to Gerald's grandmother, San Telmos are balls of fire that are unrest souls of the dead. So for this prompt, you should read a book with fire on the cover or fire on the title. The fifth prompt is Black Lady, which is a counterpart to the White Lady, only make her goth. So this is a very specific prompt. You should read a book with a black cover that is written by a woman of color. The next prompt is Gwende, and they are mischievous, troublemaking, small, mythical creatures. And for this prompt, you should read a mass market paper pack book. And the last prompt is Manananggal. This is a monster in Filipino lore who can uh, detach its upper and lower torso, and its upper torso grows wings so that it can hunt. So for this prompt, you should read a book with either two timelines or two points of views. And Gerald has made it very clear that it's strictly prohibited to just two timelines or two points of views. So those are the prompts for the readathon, and the TBR prepared has nine books in it. Nine books, which is ambitious for someone who has only read four books since January. But I'm not planning on reading all of these nine books. Anyone who has ever known me or has buddy read with me knows that with the speed that I read books, that is impossible to do. I listed as many potential candidates candidates. Job interview a girl! What makes you a qualified candidate for this position? The Industrial Revolution to me is just like a story I know called The Puppy Who Lost His Way. The world was changing and the puppy was getting bigger. So you see, the puppy was like industry in that they were both lost in the woods. And nobody, especially the little boy, society, knew where to find them. Except that the puppy was a dog. But the industry, my friends, that was a revolution. Anyways, I listed down as many potential candidates for this TBR as I could so that if ever I get into one of my mood swings, I can jump from one book to another and that way I can still complete all of the prompts. And really, that is my main goal for this readathon. I don't want to settle for second best. I want to go for Bathala. I will kill. I will die to get there. I will fight all of my inner demons. Reading Slump is a bitch and I am ready to cut one. I am so fucking game for this readathon, so bring it. So the first book in my TBR is These Violent Delights by Chloe Gong, which I've actually already started weeks ago because this is the book of the month for our trio's live show. Is that considered cheating? Maybe, I don't care. I just want to get Batala. So this is the book that I chose for the prompts, um, Maria Makiling and Black Lady. And Maria Makiling is right because this cover is gorgeous. This cover was done by UK 3D illustrator Bill Ellis, who also, also, 
who also did the covers for uh, King of Scars, uh, Seafire, Pride, and a lot of other books, and I mean a lot. His 3D illustrations have been very popular and have been very in demand for book covers. The second book on my TBR is Fireborn by Rosaria Munda, and I chose this book for the prompts San Telmo and Manananggal. San Telmo because there's fire in the title, and uh, Manananggal because there are two points of views, specifically Annie and Lee's points of views. Um, I'm very defensive and I want to set my case because Gerald has been very adamant about keeping the points of views and uh, timelines too, so to which leads me to the next book in my TBR, Fury Born by Claire Legrand, and I'm actually very happy about this choice, even though I'm not sure if this is the book that will tick off all of these prompts for me. I chose this book for Maria Makiling, Manananggal, and San Telmo, and this fits perfectly for Manananggal because not only does it have two points of views, but it also has two timelines, so it's it was made for this prompt. Maria Makiling because obviously this cover is gorgeous and Santelmo because... Oh, shit. I may have to cross out Santelmo as a prompt for this book uh, because uh, I don't know why. Clearly the brain cells aren't operating, but my mind... Uh, thought Fury was synonymous to fire, so that isn't working. And also, uh, I guess there might be some fire motives in the cover. They're not literally fire illustrations. But you know, what? what is art? Who can say what is a fire and what isn't a fire? I mean, reality sometimes shows itself in abstract forms and its only role is for us to appreciate it. But really, I just want to tick off a prompt so I can get that highlight. So the next book in my TBR is Nightfall by Eliza Victoria. And I chose this book for the prompts Duende, which is the mass market paperback book prompt. And oh, there is only cobwebs. Malakas at Maganda, which is um, a book written by a Filipino author, and um, Black Lady, because Eliza Victoria is a Filipino author. I love uh, Eliza Victoria's Dwellers, so I'm very excited to read this. The next book on my list is Punching the Air by Evie Zuboy and Yusuf Salam. Yusuf Salam is one of the Exonerated Five, and this book I chose for the prompt Serena. The next book on my list is Ang Nawawala by Chuck Berry J. Pascual, and I chose this book for the prompts Duende, Malakas at Maganda, and uh, Black Lady. I already have um, Nightfall for my Malakas at Maganda prompt, but I also wanted to just include a book um, written in a Filipino language, so this is it. The next book on my list is the, Go the Ghost, The Girl and the Ghost by Hannah Alcaf. And this book I chose for the prompts Maria Makiling because this cover is beautiful. And Manananggal as well as Duende. This book has two points of views, um, the ghost and the girl's points of views. The next book in my TBR is Things We Lost in the Fire uh, by Mariana Enriquez. This book I chose for the prompt um, San Telmo. And this is a collection of stories, which I think will help me in reading faster and uh, just take off all those prompts. And the last book in my TBR is A Thousand Beginnings and Endings. This book is edited by Ellen O and Elsie Chapman, but it is written by a number of Asian authors. So I chose this book for the prompts Black Lady and Maria Makiling. This is a collection of 15 retellings of Asian myths and legends. So those are the nine books in my TBR. To summarize, I have four books for Maria Makiling, four books for Black Lady, three books for San Telmo, three books for Manananggal, three books for Duende, two books for Malakas at Maganda, and one book for Serena. And it's really just with Serena that I'm, it's either do or die for me, it's go big or go home, bitch. So that is my TBR, this is my plan, and 
to be honest, this is a very foolproof plan. There is no way that I can fail at completing all of these prompts because each one covers multiple prompts at the same time. Really, the only weak link in this chain is me. All around me are familiar faces worn out. So that is my TBR for this year's Film Myth Readathon. If you are joining, please feel free to share your TBR in the comment section down below. And uh, let's batala! <laughs>